channel Jeanette's lifestyle anyway today guys uh, I just wanted to share to you how I prepared my simple recipe of uh, ginisang mungo it's a Filipino uh, cuisine or let's say uh, it's a sauteed um, mungo beans so Actually, this um, recipe is very simple, easy to prepare, and of course, healthy. I am uh, cooking this if uh, I am already craving for it, yeah? Because, um, as you know, um, here in Europe, uh, I already adapted the food that we have here so i just seldom cook uh, filipino cuisine uh, so because my husband is a, a, re, a re, european and as well as uh, my kids as well are adapted already of the food that we have here so i am seldom cooking the food uh, uh, that we have in the Philippines yeah so uh, if the time that I'm already craving for it I am of course um, eating uh, cooking it uh, especially that um, even though that I am only the one who is eating it because my family don't know how to or they don't like the taste of it <laughs> so anyway uh, it is also good to cook this especially if it's uh, cold because it's like a kind of soup but it's just a uh, let's say sauteed so you just you need to saute it so uh, I'm the the soup is just like only a bit not totally you know uh, fully loaded with the uh, really soup yeah so uh, let me show you how to cook it and of course uh, please stay tuned and um, hope you enjoy watching about it and uh, so if you are ready let's go hello guys welcome back to my channel once again anyway today i just uh, wanted to share to you how i prepare the so-called uh, mongo beans uh, stir fried or in our language we call it uh, ginisang mongo yeah so it's like stir fried mongo beans with some uh, vegetables on it and of course we have here the main ingredients the mongo beans yeah and of course i will uh, put it with the this one tomato and then the garlic with onion and then the ginger and then the sliced uh, pork and i'm putting it with uh, a bit of sliced uh, bacon yeah because it's nice and then of course i'm putting some stuff like veggies sliced uh, eggplant and then i'm adding a button uh, mushroom and as well as the lettuce actually i am putting it uh, sometimes with the uh, spinach but so far i don't have such uh, green veggies so i am just uh, replacing it with lettuce yeah okay so hope you enjoy watching and please stay tuned and see you in a bit guys hi guys welcome back to my channel Jeanette's lifestyle anyway guys first thing I did is that um, I am uh, 
in a pan put water yeah and then add the mongo beans and let it boil until it's uh, done uh, tender or soft and then later if it's already done um, it's time already for me to stir it fry with other vegetables uh, combination yeah or oh, it's time for me already to stir fry it to it uh, other ingredients okay so please stay tuned and let us wait until it's tender or soft yeah so all we need is to cover it yeah and let it boil okay so thank you for watching and see you in a bit so guys next thing we need to do is that uh we need to reheat the or heat the pan and add a bit oil yeah for us to saute the ingredients first yeah I'm putting now first the onion Okay, it uh, until it's light brown. Then next the garlic. And then I'm putting it with the um, ginger. And now, after that, I need to add already the sliced uh, pork. You can add it also, guys, either... If you don't like uh, the pork, you can also add like chicken meat, yeah, slice. It's up to you. Yeah. And next, I am putting already the sliced bacon. I like putting it uh, in this uh, sauté. Uh, mongo beans or ginisang mongo because bacon is so tasty yeah just uh, saute it until it's uh, light brown the meat Yeah, it's lovely smells good already because of the garlic and the ginger you know guys I am putting if I used to saute uh, this mongo beans I am putting uh, lots of uh, garlic because uh, it smells good and as well as ginger they add uh, flavor to the ginisang mungo. There you go. And it's getting better. And after that, uh, guys, I am already adding this one the boiled uh, mongo beans that uh, we make it um, soften yeah or tender i'm adding it already like this yeah saute 
Yeah. I'm just adding like that. There I go. Mix it properly. And then it's time for me to add water. Yes. Yeah, I'm just adding it like uh, um, until the doing something like that. And of course, I am. Um, I think it already season of salt. And then the black pepper. If I am missing this kind of a uh, mongo beans recipe, um, I am cooking it because actually I'm seldom cooking it because it is only me who is eating. <laughs> um, so if i'm missing it a lot i you i am cooking it yeah so we need to cover it now and uh, make the pork tender or let it simmer like three minutes yeah something like that okay and after that we need to add already the ingredients later okay so please stay tuned and see you in a bit so let's check guys okay it's boiling now yeah just stir it so you see there you go and i think the meat is getting uh, tender already I need to check the meat if it's tender. Okay. It's already soft, the meat. I'm just adding salt, season it. Next po is that I am adding the tomato. I like putting uh, lots of tomato. Yeah, let it simmer. And as well, this one, I am putting already the eggplant, slice of eggplant. I like eggplant in ginisang uh, mungo or saute mongo beans. Yeah. Ayan. Yeah, this is simple and. Uh, very easy to prepare this kind of uh, mongo beans uh, soup yeah or saute mongo beans something like that yeah and adding already the button mushroom as well i like many vegetables in uh, this uh, mongo beans recipe because I am a vegetarian kind of a person you know yeah. Yeah. check add more salt ok 
Okay, so let it simmer again like two minutes for the veggies to make it uh, tender, yeah? And after that, uh, we'll add the last uh, veggie, which is the lettuce. Just a quick because it's just uh, the lettuce, easy to... Uh, to get to tender okay so see you in a bit please stay tuned so let's uh, check guys okay it's boiling now there you go the veggies vegetables are already done the eggplant are soft and mushroom as well and the tomato so it's time for us to add the last one which is the lettuce just quick because it's not good to overcook this one so. okay. last one I'm putting it in this adding it more because I like more black pepper okay so just uh, boiled and then it's done okay please stay tuned and we'll see the finished product for my today's menu okay see you so guys once again here is already the finisher menu that i have uh, prepared for today which is the saute uh, mongo beans or in our language we called it uh, ginisang mungo okay yeah so this is very simple and easy to prepare yeah and it's one of the uh, delicacy in filipino yes in filipino cuisine yes you see yeah so I am putting a bit, uh, let's say, soup for that because it's not nice. Also, if it's too much uh, sauce or soup, yeah. So this is very simple, healthy, of course, and very affordable. Uh, all the ingredients are very. Uh, accessible to the shop or you can see it uh, in the shop yeah and I'm putting it uh, the uh, basil leaves yeah just for my presentation so see oh, and of course the partner of this is rice for me because I am only the one who is eating this because uh, my family don't know how to eat this kind of saute mongo beans yeah so hope you enjoyed watching my uh, preparation for this kind of recipe of mine and anyway thank you for watching and if you are still new to my channel please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and have a nice day guys and thank you for watching once again and see you in my next uh, video okay so thank you very much bye for now